started in the industry for over 25 years now. You know, when I first started, I was just a simple, I was just a programmer in the industry. One of my first projects was pretty interesting. We were trying to develop some aircraft simulators. We were like the first batch of Singaporeans uh, to develop such kind of um, complex systems in the country. Because in the past, it was always outsourced to Lockheed. But Singapore has evolved such that we have a talent pool. So I was one of the uh, fortunate ones that was involved in this project and was a principal engineer. Leading the design using object orientation as well as programming you know, together with my team. We brought in object-oriented technologies like object theory. It was even a precursor day of rational unified process. We brought the whole thought leadership in, teach the industry how to design and how to implement. And we applied that to our simulators you know, um, and we construct them. And it took us quite a while. You know, I mean, one year, two years, just to develop the project. Nowadays, so different. Right? Uh, I'm sure many of you have also looked at in the use of mobile phone, many of the apps that you have. Such kind of apps can be developed very rapidly compared to what, one, two years of development, testing, rollout, and so on. This is a, a age where we have so-called Internet of Things. So we deployed Internet of Things around some of the supply points. We were able to pick it up and we use a cloud-based technology that is called Platform as a Service. We use that to just quickly pull out the uh, Internet of Things and then we pull up uh, big data analytics tool and also business and intelligence tool just to quickly come up with the interface and show the fluctuation all that we didn't want to do. This is where I think you need what we call T-shaped skills. In T-shaped skills, uh, you need people uh, who are in the T, we have a horizontal bar. Horizontal bar are those with breadth of skills and the vertical bar are those with depth, depth of skills. So when I talk about T-shaped, means in the depth of skills, we need somebody who are very good in problem solving depth. And the problem solving skills should have two dimensions. One is it come from cer certain specialization of your study. For example, it could be a business graduate, it could be a computer science graduate, it could be an information system graduate. Of course, industry skills will not happen in a day. Uh, but we have been uh, seeing that um, companies are working closely with tertiary institutions now, so merge in the way they conduct internships so that students can learn and practice in capstone project in internship. So that's a very good move and we should continue to evolve that. So then students can have deep problem solving skills by exposure to one industry. And even if you graduate, uh, you should still try to develop deep skills in at least one industry. So that's the problem, problem solving depth of skills. That's not enough. You also need the breath. Now, why is this breath? I call it that the breath is what we call as communicative skills. You know, so you may not be able to know things that's outside your area so in depth that you can solve the problem right away. But in this new world, nobody knows everything. You need to team. That communicative skills, the breath. You need to be able to team and talk to other team members, other colleagues, um, uh, your, your customers, your clients who are expert in their own areas that you are not expert in but you understand what they say <laughs> you understand what they are trying to describe to you the problems they are facing and then from there both of you have come together this is a depth of an exchange of specialized skills to enable creation of new better innovative ways of addressing the problem so that sort of teaming is very key A lot more new roles have been created uh, compared to five to ten years ago. Roles such as in the area of analytics, okay, uh, big data anal analysts, data scientists, in the area of crowd, uh, crowd developer, crowd architect, crowd security specialist, and crowd infrastructure manager. Also in the area of mobility, like such as enterprise mobile mobility developer and designer and even a chief mobility officer in making uh, which is actually unheard of in the past in PSA the global power operators the company that I'm in actually all this role actually becoming more and more important uh, where we are heading into the analytic and mobility with so many new emerging technology and the increasing digitization of our environment and the reliance of the coding 
and computational thinking will becoming the more important, uh, the new important skill in 21st century. All these new skills are fundamental needed in software development. However, the software development methodology will, will be changed from a traditional waterfall SDLC towards a, a more agile development. Coding will also change to expand from the traditional uh, C, C++, .NET and Java development to mobile uh, coding such as iOS, Android and even Python. It is a really a very exciting time for the IT industry, for students that is thinking of what subject to study and for graduate in computer science and software engineering. This is a very exciting time to enter into the IT industry.